So we're here at the Linaro Connect 2018 here in Vancouver. Yes. And who are you? Hi, I'm Kun Koi, and uh, I work here at Linaro. And for the demo next. Next demo session, we're going to demonstrate uh, Kodi using accelerated decode using FIFA L2. Uh, we've been working on that for a long, long, long time. About every year, I give the same interview here with Serbax. Uh, but this time, we have it completely working on a lot of different boards. So we have it working on Qualcomm boards, AM Logic boards, uh, IMX6, and even uh, some other things. So you really like stuff that has to do with video, right? Yes, that, that's the, the thing that I work on in, in my spare time, and now I can work on that uh, for, for the, the, the day job. So I really like that. And it's something you can show to your parents and your neighbors as something tangible in what you're working on. Like, see, we have now better video decode on, on these platforms. You show that to your parents? Yes. So how, do you, how does your parents understand that it's better now? They, they, they see that, that it works. And uh, they liked that. My parents are currently house sitting in my house, and they were saying that they watch some TV shows uh, on on Cody. So actually, they're they're now using it themselves. Uh, did you uh, let your parents use any of the macro lenses you have, or something? <laughs> no, I have those with me. You have those with you. Yeah, yeah. You, you don't you don't go anywhere without them. Right. Right. Well, well, a subset of them because bringing them all would be way too much work. So does that mean you're in the consumer group? You're doing the stuff with the home, uh, the home No, part? I'm, I'm currently in a, in a group called Software, which isn't saying much, but we do the, our internal builds and distribution work. So if you need support for our internal Debian builds, open embedded builds and things like that, that's, that's what we currently uh, are doing. So the home group is using our work and we work with them uh, uh, on that, but the automotive group is working with us, etc. We kind of like the, 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 the central hub of the, the Nexus if you want to do builds. And uh, uh, what is this Yocto? The Yocto project is an umbrella organization uh, of which the Open Embedded project is part of. And Open Embedded is an embedded build system. And I've been working on that for oh, 15 years now. 15? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, since you were a teenager, right? Since, uh, since I started university, basically, uh, that's when I bought my first HP iPac uh, and I wanted to run Linux on that. And, and ever since, it's been uh, part of my job one way or another. Because uh, Open Embedded is a big deal? Yes, it did. It, it, well, it, it, was, it has been and it is? It has been and it is. It used to be a, a, a big deal in a, in a small circle, so to speak, but it's getting more and more adoption. Uh, in, in surprising places like uh, Dell has been using it for their BMC, for their servers uh, and, and things like that. Why? Because they needed, uh, the BMC is not an Intel CPU, it's usually an ARM CPU and they needed a small build for that so they, they picked Open Embedded for that. I'm not, I'm not sure if they're still using it but there's now the Open BMC project on which uh, IBM and uh, HP are involved that's also Open Embedded based. The Intel EFI testing suite, uh, Love OS, they, uh, that's also open embedded space based. So, uh, what is the difference between open embedded and Yocto? It's, uh, Yocto product uh, is an umbrella organization. It hosts some other projects uh, as, as well. It's, it's, it's kind of like uh, the GNU project and then you have the GNU libc. It is kind of like that. GNU is the umbrella organization and let's see the project and the same is for Open Embedded and, and the Octo project. So it's all Linux stuff? Uh, most people use Linux, but there is support to build other things as well. Uh, if you want to, you can build microcontroller things with Open Embedded. You can build uh, cross-build to Windows. So if you say I need an ARM tool chain for Windows, you could use Open Embedded to build it. That would be overkill, but it is possible. So it's kind of like a way of building images? Yes. Yeah, it's, like it's, a standardized way of building them? Yeah. It, it's, a, it's a build system and it, uh, it's uh, basically an anything to anything build system. So we on ARM64 we could build for x86 and vice versa. Uh, why is it so fun to work with? It's in, in, in When we started it was fun because at the same time we would do porting for embedded boards and, and devices so you got to see your device being able to do more and more and more and more while working on the build system so open embedded was basically a tool to to get what you wanted and so what we did now for the Kodi demo I used open embedded to build Kodi. Uh, because that's what I'm used to to be able to develop that and at the same time uh, 
I work with the Libre ALAC people and they build coding with their build system and we could compare notes to see what the differences were and what was working and what, what wasn't. So how about this Libre ELEC? Uh, who's, what, what is that? What, what has it compared with the opening mid? Um, Libre ELEC, their, their mission is just enough operating system for Kodi. So they build an operating system that is just enough to build Kodi. So it's really small and self-contained and it basically only runs Kodi and that's what they care about. So you have a really good Kodi experience and it's really small. It's like uh, two or three hundred megs and then you, you install it on an SD card, a USB stick, you plug it in and it works. And uh, uh, so, so does that mean that they have the biggest market share in Kodi hardware? I think they do. But uh, the, the, you have to enable statistics to do that, and they don't track uh, people. They didn't track people, and now with the GDPR, uh, they still don't track people. So it's, it's, it's hard to say we get uh, users in information from people, so we know we have like uh, the downloads, we have like 100,000 downloads, 60% were Raspberry Pi, but more information beyond that, we, we don't really have that. Is there uh, uh, what's called a uh, uh, what's called a uh, uh, is Kodi definitely the best video system? It's the best I've used. So m maybe some people ha are fan of some Windows uh, video uh, solution and they're happy with that because it has tons of plugins. Uh, but I don't use Windows, so I can't really say. But so far, Kodi is the the best I've used. The Windows thing is that like Plex or what do you talk about? No, it's, 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 it's not MPV or it's it is okay. some some acronym and people are using that. They they reference that in the Kodi forums like oh but this thing does play it. Uh, so I I don't know I have never used it. People seem happy with it and uh, like you said Plex but Plex does a bit too much for my liking. I just want to have play my movies and TV shows. Is it true that most of the piracy that happens on on Kodi is actually not very reliable because it's just a bunch of links to servers that get closed down all the time? That, that's or is it a lot of peer-to-peer uh, -peer that really works well? Uh, while I live in the Netherlands, we get most things legally, so I haven't needed the, the piracy IPTV add-ons yet, but uh, it's not really that the links are a problem, it's that you don't get the piracy add-on, you also get malware and, and badly written software. So. Uh, it, it fails before it gets to the point of a disappearing link. Nice, but it would be nice if uh, some com uh, some uh, s some countries, that potentially uh, the Netherlands or uh, let's say Switzerland, some other, start to uh, change a little bit the rules of copyright. So it would be interesting, right? Yeah, that, that that would be interesting. Sadly, in Netherlands, we went kind of went back. We used to have uh, every time you bought a device, you had to pay a tax for a medium, and then you said you have a right to copy things at home and that extended to things you would borrow from your neighbor. So have, making a copy was legal and then they said that well, that means that downloading is legal as well because you're at home and making a copy and that turned out not to be true. So that's now illegal. Did you invent brain? Uh, we, In Holland, it's Dutch? Yeah, brain is, 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 is Dutch. It's your pride, right? They are massively <laughs> successful in what they do. Like, what do they do? Threaten people and send them letters and they, they, people pay because they're scared? Uh, they're, 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 they're good in, uh, in enforcement, so they take things down. Uh, they're, they're not big on the fines, but they're like, oh, this is a website, we, we, we get, get it taken down, and that, that seems to work. So, uh, they're really competent. They, they are annoying, but they are very, very competent at what they do. So, your, your badge says uh, uh, Linaro. How cool is it to be a Linaro? It's very cool. You get flown to hot and sunny places like like Vancouver. Yeah. And uh, but, but uh, I mean, it's been a while. How long have it been now? Uh, five years this uh, this year. At, uh, at the demo session, I'm getting my five year award. Uh, do you think uh, there's a potential? There's all, it's, it always feels like there's a potential that the arrow should grow and more people should join. Yes, but we basically now have all the silicon vendors, so it's hard to, to grow in, in the way we, we used to grow. So now we want to go into automotive and things like that and, and, and grow that way. And uh, AI and automotive, are you interested? You know how to do the coding and that kind of stuff? No, I'm not a programmer. So it, it's interesting to see how it works, but I'll, I'll, I, I have a severe distrust for AI in, in, in any field. You have a fear of AI? 
A, dis a just distrust. But you use it all the time for your yes. macro <laughs> photography, right? Isn't that an AI in your, in your, in your, in your camera? Uh, well, I use manual focus, but then again, I think the Adobe software uses some machine learning to do uh, all the, the noise uh, cancelling and things like that. So the, the image science in the camera is AI yeah. stuff, right? Yeah, not not in old camera I have, but in the newer cameras, yes, very and much so. Video encoding is a lot of AI. It's a psychovisual uh, stuff where they can compress and magical AI kind of stuff. Yeah, in the future, but it's all uh, man done uh, up up till now. Cool. Thanks a lot, and uh, have fun. See you You're next welcome. time. See you. Yay!